Okay. I wasn't going to show you guys this, but uh, then I noticed something green coming up here outside. What's the date today? February 20th? And we're in Canada, mind you. Let me see. Can you see this? Yes, you can. There's Randy's hand there clearing away. Do you know what that is? Irises. <laughs> it's February 20th. And those are irises coming up in uh, my front flower bed here. This flower bed is all perennials, which uh, perennials are a more natural way to garden, I think, because they're things that will naturally grow in your area. So, you know, just a more natural, organic way to garden. But I wanted to show you that. The green coming up. Spring is coming. While we're outside, let me show you. This is golden nettle. And I don't think it ever actually fully died over the winter. We do insulate our flower bed with leaves. Just um, We're in southern Ontario, which has beautiful winter weather, but sometimes we do get uh, a few really cold spells. And Let me show you Randy right now. February 20th. See the snow in the background? There's Randy. It's above zero today. It's beautiful. Um, there's still some snow, but a lot of it melted today. Anyways, I just want to show you that spring is coming. Just thought it would be fun to show you guys my backyard and what it looks like before anything grows, I guess. This is my herb garden. <laughs> I honestly thought when I took the camera back here that we'd see a little more of the herb garden than we are, but I guess the snow didn't melt back here. It's a lot more sheltered in my backyard than the front yard. It's time. Still green, still growth on it. It's incredible. The time, I don't think, ever died over the winter. It just. It's just going. It's going. I don't even think it went dormant. I think it's still going. It's mint. Um, I don't know. Last I looked, there was still green on that mint, but it was right next to the ground. Okay. I'll show you. This area is where we're going to put our garden this year, our vegetable garden, and our uh, little greenhouse, hoop house, whatever it is that we're going to do with it. But this is the area where it's going to go. It gets a lot of sunlight right here. It's a very nice spot. Morning sun. This is our garden from last year. Uh, there's some green growth in here. You probably can't really tell on the camera, but I don't even know what anything is. See right there by the snow, there's something, and I cannot remember for the life of me what I planted there. But it's doing well, whatever it is. Right here, it's a strawberry plant, and I think it's doing pretty well for being the winter. That's about it. And this garden will be moved next year. We're in the spring in the next couple of months. And hopefully we'll have a shed here in the site where this garden is. The problem with this garden is it's too sheltered. It doesn't get enough sun because it's in the wrong corner of the yard for one. The, the fence blocks it. For two, there's a big maple tree next to it. <laughs> well, it's not big. It's a good little maple tree, and, and that maple tree provides quite a bit of shade. I want to show you this on the maple tree. Uh, I don't think it's going to focus, and I don't know how to work this camera. But those are little buds on the maple tree. Can you see that? Spring's coming. It's February 20th. Spring's coming. Just for fun, let's walk over. Do you see this tree? Turn the camera sideways so you can see. Do you see that tree? Can you guess what that is? Nobody can. We didn't know what it was when we moved here. Because we moved here late spring, early summer. This is a pussy willow tree. A tree, yeah, I said a pussy willow tree. Um, it's huge. It's really, really big. You can see it's as high as the power lines there. And... Again, I don't know how to zoom on this. They're, the pussy willows are starting to come out right now. The pussy willows are coming out at the top. At the top. 
Can you see that? Pussy willows are coming out at the top. Not down here at the bottom. I'll show you that later when they're really out. In the next probably two to three weeks, this will be covered in pussy willows. So today's February 20th. February 20th. So it's been six days since we planted the seeds. And what you see here just kind of came up last night. Let me see. Peas aren't doing a thing yet. So we... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Peas aren't doing anything yet. Wait. Wait. Yes, they are. Look at that. You caught me on camera while I saw it for the first time. The peas are coming up. That's cool. Sweet basil. Let me take a good look. I don't see anything. No, nothing in sweet basil. But you can the, definitely tell here... The dill is doing well. We've got grass. Now well, that is dill. It just looks like grass at first. Yeah. The dill is doing great. And it's def <laughs> this indoor greenhouse is definitely working. You can feel the moisture um, in here from the plants. There's definitely uh, warmth happening here. Yeah. So this is our pole yellow bean. pole bean. Bean. Singular. <laughs> We've got one coming up. One and on this side is supposed to be sugar snap peas, but there's nothing coming up on this side yet. Oh, maybe there is. Actually, there's a weeny little thing growing there. I don't know if you can see it. This? Yeah, that. That right there. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not I sure. I don't know. But it looks, <laughs> looks kind of like what it looks would. like something. Okay, and down here have, is our romaine lettuce. And, we and have, this just came up. This, this wasn't here last night. So this is another first. We just got back from a business expo thing where my business was as a booth, but uh, we just came home to this and thought we'd share it with you guys. So that's the romaine lettuce. We have one. One. There might be more coming up. I only see one. Yeah, and then we moved our uh, our uh, rosemary in here from the kitchen and uh, seems to be doing pretty well. Yeah, the dead stuff I think was, it was dead already. Yeah. But there's a lot there's of living new, stuff in there. new growth there. Yep. Good. All okay. Right. That's it. We'll update you later, YouTube. Say bye, Amanda. Bye, YouTube.